Hello, my name's Murray, one of the founding members of Mighty High. And this little video, I'm going to talk about the Mighty High CDs. All seven of them to date. So the first one, simply called At Studio 21, because that's where we recorded it. And uh, Studio 21 is actually my flat. And this uh, is basically a stay-at-home recording. So we've kind of gone full cycle in 2020 with the more stay-at-home recordings. So the first uh, lineup, uh, I was on the drums and vocals, and Tachan on the bass, and we had uh, Yamano-san on guitar. But actually, that lineup. We never played any gigs because the uh, guitarist was no very good. So we never really got up to gig, gig standards. But even on this very first CD, recorded in 2003, we have some really good songs on this one. Already you can see Beers in here, one of the most popular Mighty High songs. And Another Day, that's another one that we've... Uh, regularly play and Stuck in Texas is quite a classic too to be recorded uh, once more on another one of the CDs which we'll talk about a bit later so I'm the main songwriter but uh, on this the first CD there's a couple of songs that are written by the other members Never NG that was, uh, that's Tachan wrote that one and actually uh, Beer is about you can, if you listen to the, the lyrics in beer, there's a line that goes, the never song is in my head. And uh, that's referring to the never NG song. So there we go, giving away some of the, giving away some of the wee secrets of the songs in there. So that was the very first one, 2003. Like I say, I was on drums, but actually it's all done with a drum machine because it was a, a stay-at-home uh, recording. So, if we move on to the next one, which would be 2005. This, we were already at the, the current lineup with I switched to guitar. Tokun came in on bass. Uh, no, sorry, he didn't come in on bass, he came in on drums and uh, Tachan stayed on the bass. And that's the lineup that we use today. And so, in 2005, we did the Play For You CD. Now, there's some good songs on this one too. Taiwan is a real classic, we did that, we've played that quite a lot. And Utopia, that's a really good one. And uh, WMD, Weapons of Mass Destruction, quite a classic. And the opener on this one is actually an old one, I think uh, it's one uh, maybe, I'm not sure if 35mm Dreams actually played this, but it was written around the, around the time, so that's uh, probably one of the oldest ones, uh, the oldest songs that we do. And we've done that one quite, quite a lot too, in the live setup. So this is CD. This we recorded this in the studio, and we've always, uh, you know, tried to be sustainable, as in not spending too much money on the recordings and stuff. So it's always been a DIY kind of thing. And this one uh, was before I got the digital recorder, so we used a, a video recorder. You know, I think one of these ones I forget with the, the, the cassette tapes that come with the high A or something like that. I think it was a Sony, but it had really quite good microphones. It had a good stereo microphone, so we just sort of pointed at the drums and, and the bass amp and went for it. So there we go. That was 2005 in there. The next one up, uh, Ninja. Now, when was that one recorded? Let me have to check. Oh yeah, that would be 2006. So Ninja, was, that was the same style of recording as the Play For You one. We were using the, the Sony video camera to, to get the things there. And then you can see we're already 
repeating some of the great songs on this one. We've already got beer in there again, and Never NG's back up, back up. And Ninja's a classic, yeah, we used to play that. We've played that quite a lot, it's a really good song, aye. And the last one there, I was all on the tip, oh, that's actually a cover, an instrumental. And it was recorded from the very, very first uh, live show that we did on my Christmas Eve one time. The PA was rubbish, so the, 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 the vocal sounded rubbish, but because it's an instrumental, that one came through okay. And moving on from Ninja, that's after that one, that's when I got the digital recorder, and I think uh, the quality really improved, and like most of the YouTube's videos have been focusing on uh, the, the uh, post Ninja CDs, there's uh, four of them, starting off with Getting High. Now I think Getting High is probably probably our strongest CD with songs wise and just a good selection, 13 great songs. And you can see here again we're going back some of the songs that we recorded before we redid Another Day because that's really been a classic and uh, Hover to Oita, that's one, one of the ones we did in Edinburgh, that is if you chain. I already wrote a song about you. And that song, that's, we've started a lot of gigs with that one, it's just a really catchy wee tune and it's quite easy to play as well, so it's great to do first off because you just, you know, you get into the mood and you, things are going well and just, yeah, it's a great wee thing. Geisha, another classic song. Stuck in Texas, that one was a, a rework of an earlier song as well, right from the very first album there. Panda No Panda is a tribute to one of our friends' bands, Panda No Panda. Royal Inserts, another tribute to another friend's bands called the Royal Inserts. Well, Hay Fever, you know what that's about. Tomato Juice, well, Tomato Juice is quite interesting one because uh, one of our fans didn't drink any beer, so uh, asked us to, I don't know if she asked us or we decided we'd make, write a song that was something that wasn't about beer or so. She was like drinking tomato juice, so that's where that one came from. And Sunday Rain, that was written on a rainy Sunday day, so there we go. Twang, ah, that's the that's the story of me getting the yellow telecaster. Kaloma, that's where we stay. And back to twi Typhoon 23, there's the story of Typhoon 23, where uh, we got stuck at Shimosaka Station for... I think it was about six hours and then we finally got on the train and the NHK came and gave us an interview so we got on the, the public uh, news program although I didn't see it myself because I was on the train but yeah quite a few quite a few people saw it so that was great that's quite a nostalgic one you know and that's one that we've used lots and lots to finish off the show it just has a wee cracking end to the, it's just a wee cracking song yeah. So moving on from 2000 and, uh, that one's 2008. So next up, I've got Chili Sauce. Chili Sauce is from 2009. And here we're, we're getting a bit more, I was getting a bit more adventurous with the type of instrumentation on this one. So it's obviously, uh, we've always been a three piece. And most of the other ones we've recorded it just as a three piece. But this one I've added some some of the tracks have extra piano or keyboards or something like that or double track you know, with the guitars and things. So Area 51, I think that's a really great song. And now uh, you can find that one there uh, on the YouTube, Flying to Fukuoka, another classic. I wrote that on the aeroplane when I was flying to Fukuoka, naked in Florida. Well, this is, uh, uh, I saw this in a, an article in the newspaper about how it was illegal to be some in, naked in some parts of Florida. They might have even had almost the same, the same way it said it. And I thought, well, that's just a great line, isn't it? And it had something, and and, and uh, you know, it's illegal to show off more than two thirds of your bum. What a great, oh, that's just a classic. I mean, you know, I. Um, Moriguchi Kadoma Jazz Festival. Actually, we did actually play at the Moriguchi Kadoma Jazz Festival, so I wrote this song before we played. And uh, that was a quite an interesting experience because the band before us was this really kind of soft, I mean, it's a jazz festival, right? and they were kind of this like, really smooth lounge kind of thing, and we were going to play these kind of like 
in slightly edgy, sort of indie punky kind of stuff. Oh god, I bet everyone leaves, but uh, they didn't. They stuck around. And here we go, freezing in Boston, because it was freezing in Boston, and be a winter one. Edinburgh, why would we ever know about that? That boy or a girl, that's, uh, that's actually quite an old one. I wrote that before my son was born and uh, introduced it as a mighty high song. So there we go, that's another quite a strong CD, Chili Sauce 2009, good one. And up next, 2011, what song should I sing? Excellent. That's why I'm just uh, wondering which ones are my songs I should sing, so I just, uh, it's kind of name-checking my own songs. Be mine. That's got another one. That's and uh, it's got a good feel to that. That one, Okinawa. That's where we went on a wee, a wee trip down to Okinawa, in the summer. Huh? That was a nice wee spring trip down to Okinawa. Let me live. Oh, I'll just not bother telling you what that one's about. Uh, rock and roll bicycle in Takatsuki. That's um, based on the Takatsuki Jazz Festival. And I went there by bicycle, so it's my wee rock and roll bicycle, and I put my I put my drums on the back of the bicycle, which was quite a feat, especially on the way home. Uh, over my head, well, you can guess what that one is about, I suppose. Kaz and Rihanna, happy days. So this was a kind of commissioned for Kaz and Rihanna's wedding. And I put it on the album as well because it came out quite well. My, my Malaysia, it's kind of a weird one. It's not really got much. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, you can find it on YouTube. It's a, it's a wee bit of a, wee bit of a strange one. And when she's around, well, that one is not written by me. That one's written by um, Sam Cat. Really nice song. And uh, it was, uh, he, I think he called himself the Man with No Band. So we thought we'd be his band, and uh, started off we recorded uh, just the music, and I sent it to him so that he could. Uh, Put the put his own his own his own voice on it, and uh, I recorded that. Uh, we recorded our our version as well. So this is uh, our version of when she's around. It's a really nice song. It's a good one. And then moving on to 2013, which is actually the latest Mighty High CD. We've been a wee bit. Uh, a wee bit lazy or a wee bit less productive since 2013 and Thursday night. Well, this is another, this is a gem. I think this is a real gem. Uh, I think we we uh, we maybe did the recordings ever so slightly different on this one. Instead of going straight into the D4, I think we used the Zoom to get out, uh, which has got stereo condenser mics to get the sound of the drums a bit, a wee bit, a wee bit nicer. Because sometimes they came out a wee bit harsh the way we recorded them before. Especially the snare drum was a wee bit, a, a wee bit annoyingly edgy in some places. So. So they got a better a better sound on this one. I think uh, I'm really pleased with the sound on this one. Thursday night, that's a really great song. And there we look at this. We're getting beer again because beer is the uh, I think it's the only song that Mighty High have played at every gig. It's just a great one, and the crowd just join in with the chorus and that. Why don't you go home? Well, that is uh, a bit of a strange one to play at a gig. So I uh, just well, we, we, I think we did it. We might have done it once or twice, but there's actually there's quite a lot of lyrics in it. It's quite hard to to sing all the words. Uh, JGF, that's a cover of a Rolling Stones song, Jumping Jack Flash. Going to a birthday party. Well, that's uh, there you go. You can guess what that one's about. Talk too long. Well, that's another classic, more of sort of a rock and roll kind of thing. Uh, Yokaichi, that's a place uh, I visited, uh, quite famous for asthma attacks, and, uh, and Shunta, well, this is another commissioned one, Some one of our, our fans asked us to, to well, he actually, actually it's, the, the, the lyrics is not, are not mine, it's written by Shunta's granddad, and uh, we put some music to him for him. And finally, Pipeline, a cover of the famous instrumental and in our version is a wee bit more based uh, around the Johnny Thunders kind of sound uh, so there you go 2013 Mighty High Thursday night thanks for listening